Bring that to HB 1705 FNA. Allowing the purchase and use of marijuana by adults. Regulating the purchase and use of marijuana. Imposing taxes on the wholesale and retail sale of marijuana. Having me here today, and thank you for the committee for having this dialogue. It's a very important issue. Um, I hear a lot of you talking about protecting your children, um, and I, I get to see a, a child of New Hampshire speak here today, so I think I can bring a, a special perspective to the table. Um, speaking, what well, I think we need to be clear what this bill is. It's not an endorsement of the use or the consumption of marijuana. Um, it is an attempt to regulate and tax and control a commodity and a trade that has been going on in our communities for decades and decades and decades, whether we would like to admit it or not. Speaking to you as someone who cannot legally purchase alcohol, speaking to you as someone who really stands nothing to gain from this bill if it were signed into law because my uh, uh, choice to use this substance would still be criminal, um, and most importantly, speaking to you as someone who has seen very dear friends and family members of mine profoundly affected by the underground black market of this trade. I would strongly encourage you to support this bill. Um, again, not because of your personal opinion on this matter, um, but as a pragmatic one and an understanding that supporting uh, regulation of something does not mean you, you support its use. Um, you want to protect your children, ladies and gentlemen, and that is a very um, admirable goal, um, as I'm sure my parents want to protect me. And speaking on behalf of your children, um, I would like to ask you a, a question in, in closing. Um, are you going to turn your backs on us? Are you going to continue a policy that has failed us and has failed this country? Or are you going to allow the laws of this country to grow up with us and ultimately make us safe? Thank you. Thank you.